Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about all the new holiday releases that's come in the market and which of them are I'm like most intrigued about, which of them I would be purchasing and which of them is an easy pass for me and which would be like a comparison things that you can use if you were also eyeing these products but you were not sure whether you want to buy it or not. So if all of this seems interesting to you and if you want to see get ready with me talking with all these things that i just mentioned then please keep on watching let's get ready with me i actually started getting ready already but i thought of like filming it because i was like recollecting the thoughts that which palettes would i buy which things would i buy for this holiday or not i thought let me just speak out my thoughts that's going in my brains i thought that would be helpful I don't know. I'm just helping myself. So let me help you guys out too. <laughs> so let me tell you what I have on my face already before I started like pressing the camera on. I have my brows on and that is my L'Oreal. I was like, where is it? Brow Stylist Definer. And this one is in the shade Dark Brunette. And for my primer, I have this one, which is Essence My Skin Perfector in the shade Medium Beige. Now I have a lot of like um, breakouts going on right now and this helps to like combat that redness and that's the only reason why am I wearing this. I really really like this one. It smoothens out my texture. This is like a holy grail product of mine especially when I have like you know all those like breakouts and acne popping in and out. So yes I would 100% recommend this. I would be using a lot of like older products right now in this get ready with me when I'm talking about like the new releases that are coming in this makeup industry. For the foundation I'm going to use my Colourpop's Pretty Fresh Foundation and this I am in the shade Medium Dark 120W. So let me tell you what am I like really really interested in but I also have a, a spectrum of like buying 10 palettes this year. I am at 8 right now. So I'm very very skeptical in like testing out or I, I'm thinking I should put it this way. I'm very very I'm giving like a good amount of thought on like what I need to buy in my collection and what I need not. Um, I know I've bought only like eight palettes and rest of the palettes that I've tested out, I have gotten like in PR and all, uh, which is mainly indie brands. And I know for a fact, like if I'm buying like multi-chromes, duo-chromes, all those special shadows, I am going to invest in indie brands and I'm not going to invest in high-end brands or like regular brands that you can find in like Ulta and Sephora. Talking about that, there is a lot of good indie brands that are coming out with palettes because I feel like, I personally feel and I've, I have a few subscribers of mine who were like talking about like Smithy since you've now tried out a lot of like indie brands for the single shadows like Cleona, Pretties for Your Face, I mean you name it, uh, Luxie Beauty. I really want to test out Terra Moons too and Terra Moons is currently coming out with a palette but before, before deviating the topic. Because I've tested out single shadows and palettes like It's Belle and Gourmand Girls, uh, what do you prefer the most? I personally, if I am a consumer, and I'm not like a YouTuber, uh, which I personally, whenever I'm buying, I personally, I want to think that way that I'm a consumer first. And But somehow at the back of the mind, I know that I want to make videos for you to entertain you guys too. But I do not buy anything in my collection, especially this year, I would say, that I would not use. Like everything that I've bought, I've made it a point that I'm using it, otherwise I'm not buying it. And that's the main reason why I'm giving it so much thought uh, behind it. Talking about that, I have a frog in my throat. I, it's been like going on for last four or five days. So if I'm like coughing in the middle, please ignore. I'm so, so sorry about that. Recently, Terra Moons, they just like started promoting their palette, which I think it's called like Cosmic Dancer or something like that. Let me see, Cosmic Wanderer. And this is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. And I am, I believe, rather than investing in like 10 single eyeshadows, there are brands that do great, great eyeshadow palettes. And I feel like for your money, that makes more sense. I love It's Belle Cosmetics uh, shimmer shadows. I love Gourmand Girls shimmer shadows. They do multi-chromes, duochromes in such a way that if you are even buying like those single shadows, most of the time you do not know what you're buying because there are so many variations of like the shadows that come out, like they come out with like a collection and then most of them look so dimensional in the pictures 
but once you get it it looks like a duochrome which you might already have in your collection for example i got a lot of like uh, cleona shadows which i have like done a video on i'll pop it in the i cards above for you guys to check it out was i disappointed no but i know for a fact like the amount of money that i uh, put in for those shadows then how many shadows did i get let me check like i didn't buy much of it i got like seven shadows from cleona out of which i if i knew like what i'm like really really buying like the shades i would have gotten two maybe three like those three yes i feel like that's unique to my collection and i would use that more and those would be so this is royalty this is torch and this is blaze i feel like those three yes they were unique to my collection not because uh yeah they are unique to my collection i would say rest of the shades i have several times over in my collection so if i knew exactly what i'm buying i would have not bought that do i regret the formula no i feel like that's an amazing formula to have if you are more into like and if you use more of single shadows i feel like you'll really really enjoy it but the way i am I know I use my palettes a lot more and I just reach out to them more so even if it is like a all shimmer palette I know that I'm going to use that more for example my gourmand girls ethereal palette spooked palette or my it's bell cosmetics flare collection remix palette break the rules palette the cool summer palette i feel like i use that so much more as compared to single shadows and there was a point where i used to make it a point like on my desk when i'm going for work i used to put like one neutral eye shadow palette on my desk and my empty palette full of like single shadows uh, so that i use that more and i i really recommend doing that because i used a lot of my luxy shadows that time and my sydney grace shadows that time again i don't regret buying sydney grace shadows because or luxy shadows for that matter but i feel like not all of the shadows you would be like impressed with or like pretties for your face for that matter some of the pretties for your face eye shadows are like truly spectacular let's say if you're buying five shadows from pretties for your face and you do not buy the right ones you can get disappointed same with luxy for that matter if you buy the ones that are not like sparkly and that's totally on your preference i love sparkly eye shadows not like glitter uh, eye shadows but i love sparkly smooth eye shadows that give dimension and that's what i'm looking for and it has to be like the right brightness i don't like too too bright like silver kind of uh, glitter just because i feel like against my skin tone it doesn't like go well so it has to be the right ones and that's why i i have like videos with all these brands on my channel and i tell you like what is my recommendation and i truly truly believe that that if you are buying them just go re reach out to those videos and i feel like i'm getting those shift like really really nicely because i don't use any artificial lighting i just have like a big window in front of me so you're getting natural lighting by the way for my concealer i use my charlotte tilbury's beautiful skin radiant con concealer and this was in the shade 10 tan for my powder i'm going to use my one size translucent setting powder i have a small version of it i wanted to use this it's been it's been quite some time so let's do that okay talking about the terra moons eyeshadow palettes right the cosmic wanderer palette i f i love i love the color sorry but when i dig in deep if i am buying single shadows from them yes i would buy that uh for sure like 100% but if you are giving me all those shadows in a palette i want to use the palette by itself and i feel like that palette is super dark i am saying it's dark being like a medium tan skin tone i cannot like see like a lighter skin tone or a paler skin tone using that by itself yes you can like combine them with other shadows and the beautiful part about that palette is that it's magnetic that is the main reason why i'm okay 52 dollars for that like 12 pan eyeshadow palette doesn't seem bad at all but that palette has like seven mattes and like five duochromes so that's another point to keep in mind that it's not multichromes it's duochromes and i know that um shifty shadow here on instagram she did like watching that palette and she was mentioning that the first shade which is the only light shimmer in that palette 
that's the only shadow that feels like a multi-chrome because she could see like yellow and green and blue uh, running throughout it so you can consider this uh, that as a multi-chrome but the rest of the uh, shimmer shadows are definitely more on the deeper side so you can't see that big amount of like flip happening uh, if you're even calling it like duochrome shadows so that's the only reason why I'm, I'm like thinking so much about it um whether is it like feasible for me to buy it or not only because i have like two shadow palettes to buy for the entire year now remaining out of the eyeshadow palettes that i have bought this year if you want to see like which i recommend and which i like regret buying i can definitely do that video for you guys just because i'm like so tight or if you want to see like ranking all the eyeshadow palettes that i got uh, for this year which would be plenty around like 20 i would say i would definitely do that but talking about the terra moons palette i feel like seeing that color story if you have these two palettes already with you you are covered in that department i think because i feel like the mattes in that palette is very very similar to the age of opulence palette by beauty bay and this was like what 20 dollars something like that 18 or 20 dollars and i feel like it has that purple it has that deep blue it has a black it has that deep green it has that blue maybe this blue is a little more darker as compared to the blue that is in that palette um, but it has that like you know that pinky purpley kind of tones not exact exact but even like when you see this palette i feel like it's super super close in the mattes so do I want to spend like my money in those mats where like there are seven mats in that palette? The shimmers in that palette, I feel like I can get like a very similar color story out of this palette. Um, for example, that, you know, that purpley pinky uh, shift, I feel like you can get it from here. I feel like there are a lot of greens which can be like duplicated here. I feel like it's super, super similar. Um, and even if I see like that lighter tone eyeshadow, I feel like my Gourmand Girls Ethereal palette has like a lighter tone that is exactly similar to that. So I feel like I have these repetitive shades in my collection. So my question would be, would I want to spend this or not? Like, I don't know. I really don't know. But talking about the other palettes that are releasing in the market i am really really intrigued by the bella beauty bar strange and unusual and i did not buy that palette because it was a hefty amount uh, to spend uh, would i love to purchase that palette yes i would but i really want to see like whether i'm going to use everything in that palette or not and i have heard that the shimmers in that palette are really really good but what about the mattes <laughs> I don't think that it's like bad palette by any means, but I feel like if I'm liking it, I should like everything. Do you feel me? <laughs> so that's, that's the reason why I'm like iffy about it. Um, I feel like the shimmers in that palette is definitely unique. So if I get it, will I enjoy it? Yes, uh, for sure. But I have other palettes that are like running in my mind. For the cream bronzer, I'm using my ColourPop Soul Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Dark. Um, let's use this. It's been quite some time and I really, really like this one. Uh, but apart from that, my number one choice for the palettes coming, I've not seen like the swatches of this palette. So I don't know. But I'm very, very intrigued about this palette and that is from Adept Cosmetics and it is the Minka palette. Now, I personally feel at the point of life that I am in, I feel like I wear a lot of neutral shades or wearable shades more in my life as compared to like greens and blues. Do I enjoy wearing them? Yes. So for that, do I have those special shades in my collection? Again, yes. So... I would think like if a uh, indie brand is coming out with multi-chromes that are more wearable, I feel like I won't like I, I would use it like to its fullest. And that's the main reason why am I so intrigued by the Minka palette. Again, I feel like if I'm going to buy two palettes from Adept, it's going to be the Heather Austin palette and the Minka palette. If I'm only going to buy one palette, I think it's going to be Minka palette like no kidding at all just because i feel like i have those uh, tones of mattes already in my collection from the heather austin palette which is like from my sugar rizzle palette that i just recently uh, 
reviewed on this channel, the Trick Raw Teat Palette. I feel like the mattes are very, very similar from the Heather Austin Palette or from like the Subculture Palette if you have that. Uh, so I feel like I do have those tones in my collection over and over again and I love those tones. I'm again very very interested in like what glam light is gonna bring. Uh, I did not buy the Barbie palette just because it was like a lot of pinks and purples. For me it's still monochromatic like pinks and purple for me is monochromatic. I have that several times over and over in my collection. I have that from my uh, glam lights Michaela palette plot one like I love love those tones and I I use those tones uh, so much like I feel like I use that Michaela palette so much I already have that on my like table because I use that so many times and I love love the mattes and the shimmers and I've used this so many times I this is like is this going to be my number one colorful palette it's going to be very close I would say because I, there are like a few palettes that I'm staring at in front of me which are like a little more better than this but these shimmers are truly out of the world and I love the mattes too I really really love it I can get like a wearable look as well as colorful look out of this palette I, this is like definitely highly highly recommended the other palette which I've not even seen but I am so 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 excited about I'm using my MAC double gleam extra dimensional skin finish as my highlighter uh yeah this the simply posh cosmetics genuine gems palette i've not even seen the picture of the palette i've only seen the cover and i feel like that's gonna be for me <laughs> like i don't know this the packaging is speaking to me nothing like crazy going on the packaging it's like a royal blue uh, packaging it's so simple but it's like powerful and elegant at the same time and I feel like it's gonna be like a jewel tone palette which would be very very difficult for me to resist and people have been raving about Simply Posh from the indie brand industry which I really want to give them a try and uh, yeah I was so up for uh, buying like the the fairies uh, palette that they uh, last time launched but I'm not going to use again those pastel shades that were there inside that palette so I avoided that again I'm thinking of a lot of things that will I use it or not the hourglass palettes that they release the face palettes they look absolutely stunning it takes me so much from me to not buy it but then I'm like do you need these palettes over and over again from your collection um, if not, then let's avoid it and use the face palettes that you already have in your collection because you're not using them enough. And that's the main reason why I took this out from Hourglass. And this was from last year or last to last year. But I'm not using them enough for me to like buy 10,000 um, face palettes, right? <laughs> so I thought like, yeah, let me, let me use the palettes that I have in my collection. And if I get to a point where I'm using these like over and over again rather than my single uh, products, then I would definitely buy it. But if I'm not using it, then stop buying it and collecting it and wasting it. That's the main reason why I stick to those numbers that how much products am I gonna buy for this year? Like how many eyeshadow palettes, how many blushes, how many highlighters would you buy in an year for you to justify for using it? Are you using it completely? If yes, yes, you are free to buy it and replace it. But don't just buy over and over again the same kind of shades. That's the only thought process that's going behind my whole theory, you know. <laughs> Talking about the glam light, they're coming out with a Scooby-Doo collection. At this point, I have not seen the palette. The promos absolutely capture my attention. So I don't know if that is going to be my ninth palette or not i really really do not know but i definitely would make my mind once i see the palette if they're going with the theme of scooby-doo and like halloween i'm assuming that there's going to be a uh, fluorescent greens uh with that like car in that mind there's going to be uh, like purples because of that the whole theme of like halloween by the way, for the blush, I'm using the shade Cheeky from Merit. There's going to be oranges, yellows. That's that's how I'm, I'm feeling. Again, I don't know. Glam Light is in pink, so maybe there's a lot of pinks that's going to come in that. I don't know. Once I see that palette, and again, if it is unique to my collection, I'll see how much is it intriguing me. If it's not intriguing me, I'm not going to buy it. But if it is intriguing me, I love the Glam Light's formula, so it might 
it might end up in my collection too. I don't know. The other reason that I think over and over again is like, if they're coming out with these collections right now, they're going to put it for Black Friday sale, which is like a month away. And that will fly. Like the month is going to fly. It's already October mid. These palettes or these shadows that you're going to look for are going to be on sale. And I'm going to feel super sad if I've bought it on like a full price and it's going to be on sale for like after three weeks, you know? Yeah, then I'll be sad. <laughs> so I don't want to be sad. And I definitely can wait at least for the Black Friday sale just to see how everything is going to like look. Even if I... if if I want to try Terra Moons for that matter, I have my wish list already ready with all those multi-chromes shadows that I really am aiming for rather than buying like a palette just because. If this was a palette with like majority of like unique shades to my collection, you bet I'm going to buy it for sure. But if that is a palette that is going to be repetitive with the shades that are in my collection i rather buy like a few shadows from them that i've been eyeing and i feel like the maximum that they charge for a single shadow is like 18 dollars. and generally terra moons does like a 50 percent off on uh, black friday so it's gonna be like nine dollars right uh, and not all of the eyeshadows that I'm aiming is also for $9. So I feel like that would be a little more reasonable for that matter. I don't know if I'm thinking the right way or not. You guys feel free to let me know if I'm thinking the right way or not. But I feel like this is the way I'm going to proceed forward. And I feel like that is going to be good on my budget. And especially the revenue that I'm earning from YouTube. I feel like I need to be very sensible on like how much I'm like spending on these makeup. Next, let me just use my palette and this is from Luda Beauty and this is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. It's been quite some time that I've not used it. So let's use this to set our blush in place. Let's use Twilight and Pink Moon together. And this blush palette is so good. If I was using this more, I would have appreciated it for sure. And that's the main reason I've, I've like stopped buying blush palettes just because I'm not using it. Like use it, Smithy. And these are such good shades. Like if I am only going to keep like one blush palette, I'll just keep this. Like it's that beautiful. But am I using it? No. Okay. I have two palettes from Anastasia in front of me. I'm going to use that. One is the Norvina 5 palette, which I absolutely love. And the other one is the Ambrizi palette. So let's see how we go. Uh, but yeah, again, these are the palettes that I absolutely love. Am I using it enough? No. So let's use it. I'm going to take this shade, which is A4 from the palette. I'm just going to run that in my crease. The, and oh my God, the quality is like stunning. Absolutely stunning. Talking about the ABH, like I'm sure you guys have seen like the Rose Metals palette. And uh, again, am I intrigued? I can't even tell you how much I'm intrigued because like I feel like I'm going to use those shades and it's going to be like super unique and super dimensional. I have heard like mixed feelings about that palette and like when the people are reviewing it. So I don't know about that. Uh, the packaging definitely threw me off, especially the inside packaging with the shadows. I felt like the outside uh, seems very cool, but I feel like if the inside was like white or black, it would have popped the eyeshadows even more. With that metallic background, I feel like the potential of the eyeshadows or like the dimension of the eyeshadows is not coming forward. So that's how I feel. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. Okay, next I'm going to take this shadow, which is A5. I'm going to keep it pretty easy. I've done a lot of colorful looks in like the recent times on my channel. I want to do it a little more wearable. Am I going to take it into a purple tone? I feel like I'm going to take it in a mauve tone, uh, but not purple. Just because again, I've, I've done like a, so many purpley, greeny, bluey looks on my channel. <laughs> let me, yeah, let me be me. <laughs> These are the shadows that I like absolutely enjoy and like love applying when I'm just like easing out and I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, 
and look how beautifully it blends. I love these, love these shadows. And now I'm gonna take the shade E5. This one, or should I take this? Okay, let's take C5. E5 is definitely a little more on the deeper side. I'm placing this on my lower lash line. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to place that in the outer corners and then just deepen out my outer corners a slight bit just for added dimension. And then we can blend everything out. KBD is also coming out with like holiday collection, Moon Garden Holiday 2022. It feels like Colourpop's Super Shock shadows, especially in that palette, I would say. But she's coming out with like mascaras, a whole set of eyeliners, mascaras, uh, lip products. I'm not intrigued by any of them. So I would be avoiding that. That's an easy pass for me. The other thing that completely intrigued me was the Charlotte Tilbury face palette. But again, as I said, do I need a face palette if I'm not using face palettes? Absolutely not. So I'm going to say no to it till the time I am in my that phase of life when I'm using like face palettes more than what I'm using right now. I'm going to dip back into that A4 shade and just blend out the edges. Now let's dip into the Umbreezy palette and I'm going to dip into this shade Semsa. And that's like more of that burgundy shade and start putting that towards the center of my lid. I'm not going to bring it inside just because I have to place a shimmer shadow from here, which I have been like waiting to combine those tones together. Today is the day. I'm going to take this Yugo shade. It's a deep eggplant shade, just to deepen out if I've, if you've lost on anything. Nothing much, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to dip into this shade, which is Barb. This one, I've been waiting. Like, I have to, I have to use this shade. I'm going to take that from the inner corners. And just spread it around. I'm not taking it as like a cut crease or anything. I just want like a smooth application of that. Look how beautiful that shade is. And this competes with like definitely like the shade competes with like so many indie shadows that I have in my collection. And then I'm going to take this shade Cupcake. The purpley shade. I'm just going to melt that with that deeper matte shade. Just so that the transition is like smooth. I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. Okay, so my eyes are all complete. I use my Anastasia's uh, liquid liner and my Essence Lash Paradise mascara. Uh, so that's what I have. Uh, on my lips, I have my KKW Beauty's lip liner in the shade Nude 2.5. For my lipstick, let's use this. This is Makeup by Mario's, what is this called? Moisture Glow Lip Plumping Serum Balm thing. <laughs> and this is in the shade Blush Glow. I really like that. So let's take that. Look how glossy that is. Oh my god. Yeah, I really love that. Like I'm not a big gloss person, but look how glossy that is. Tremendous. Okay, let's set our face on the verge of finishing this e.l.f. coconut setting spray. I, I know that it is in my Jen Atkins uh, setting spray bottle, but I love the spray. That's why I just put it in this. But I love, love this setting spray. That is my final look. So let me give you a close up. 
I really hope that you love the talk that we did, like a ramble that we did with like the new holiday releases that's going to come in the market. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. You guys let me know what are the products that are coming like right now in the holiday collection that you are intrigued about the most. Like just give me like your top three. Top three and which you are thinking like you're definitely going to buy and which you think like you it's an easy pass for you. I also want to say like which are my top indie brands that I really want to try for the multi-chromes. I think the top ones that stand out to me, one is Terra Moons, second is Fantasy Cosmetica and then the third one is Mon Professionals. You should see Mon Professionals swatches. I mean, I cannot stop drooling. Like that's how special it is. Like I have so many in like my wish list that I need to try from them. And then talking about Fantasy Cosmetica, they've come up with three palettes so far. First one was Druid palette. I'm very, very intrigued by that palette, but that is a green palette. Now again, how much would I use it? I don't know. <laughs> the second one was okay, okay, I would say. Uh, the third one was more of like a pink and a blue color story. Again, I would not use that a lot. And the shimmers that were there in that palette, I already have those like shimmers in my collection. So I could skip on that. I would be very, very intrigued on in like future what they're coming out with. And I am very sure that I'm going to try them out. Plus another a brand that I definitely want to try is Simply Posh. And I feel like it's going to happen with Genuine Gems palette. Those would be like my top like indie brands that I want to try for the multi-chromes. But yes, that's all for today, guys. I really, really love the season of like fall, the winter, just because of the holiday season. And it's, it's right around the corner. So I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.